welcome back to the second episode. Right now we're going to focus on taking away the fuel tank, the old fiberglass fuel tank from 68 that most likely will be leaking soon. We will also take a look at the transom that uh, I'm starting to tear down here uh, and um, also doing some work on the on the deck of course to get a hold of that fuel tank. I believe that it's um, always good to have a sort of clean boat and the clean by that I mean that it's uh, more or less empty because it's so much easier to work with it but before we could do that we had to uh, remove the fuel from the fuel tank that was left in it and also dismantle the, the leftovers of the engines that were sold. Uh, the floor was sagging so I had to cut everything out and I believe it's easier to just rebuild the things that I want to have instead of just saving stuff so the grinder got to work quite a lot but what's not so fun with the grinder is of course the dust that's everywhere and well that's that's just how it, how it works but when using electrical and uh, electrical um, machines and uh, going down on the fuel tank uh, with the fumes and stuff it's uh, very tricky and I'm, I'm very cautious of not igniting anything so I had a hard time figuring out exactly how to get a hold of this issue. Um, but I, I took the first floor away and then I had to deal with the foam that was filled in between the tanks and the, 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 the um, stringers. And that took quite a while, but uh, some hard work and then it was done. Um, here you can see where everything is removed from the sides, but still it's, ho it's holding itself from, the, from beneath. Um, my old saw was actually the solution after a lot of headache here and the best tool and, and the weapon I could find against this fiberglass um, fuel tank. It, uh, um, it's thick, uh, it was thick, it's no more, um, but it was time to sort of get rid of it. And as you can see, you get gray hair out of a product like this. Um, not much to say about this. Uh, a lot of work, but it had to be done. Uh, and uh, the whole point of doing this is to replace this with a stainless steel fuel tank uh, in the long run. And when this was done, uh, I started to look into the transom. And also, well, you have a sneak peek here of the the bracket that, that I'm building on the side here, but right now figuring out exactly how much of a hole I need to take in the transom. So figuring that out and doing some measurements, I came up that I, with, with this sort of plan of taking as little as possible away from the boat, basically. And then I'm gonna glass in the bracket afterwards. So I had to get through this big, thick transom in order to get going. Finally, I got through this transom and could start to grind some more uh, gel coat off the boat in order to prepare for the glassing of the bracket. But that's a different story and the next film. 